couldn't take it in, the fact that this was your home, your village, and the fact that a small stream that normally just sort of babbles away in August was 12, 14 feet in the air up against shops and buildings, and buildings were being destroyed. One thing that sticks in my mind is, is just the, the speed with which the flood came. One minute we were trying to get our staff away from the shop to their cars, the next minute their cars and others were, were hurtling down the stream behind us. My shop, which was over across the, the bridge, was completely destroyed. Each car that came down hit it. To be honest, it felt like the end of the world. Because your livelihood's based around the peak time of year, August, Everything was, had been water damaged. We had to wait for the wheels and the kilns. But as far as we were concerned, it was the end of the business. We just sat there that first day wondering how on earth we were going to clean the building out when we've only got like a coal shovel. The logistics behind rebuilding the village was just incredible. Years of hard work and effort put in by so many people. The, the kindness of strangers and all the volunteers that came to help, the donations, and there's so many agencies involved in it to pull it all together to rebuild the valley. The National Trust work very closely with lots of people, particularly the Environment Agency and particularly the local people here in the village. I think we recognised at the outset that a lot of the character of the village and the valley above and below it really hinges on the, the historic buildings that are here and the, the natural river system. And we were very keen to work to ensure that those, were, those characteristics were maintained. Above the village, we've created this wide, shallow area where the river can slow down and, and drop debris before it reaches the village. Down here, the river bed has actually been lowered quite significantly. We couldn't widen it because we wanted to keep the historic walls. And then the road, the level of that has been lowered so that if the river comes out of bank, it's got somewhere to flow again before it reaches the buildings. Personally, I think it's been very successful. I think it's proof today of the fact that people still love to come to Boscastle and don't understand that a small river like this could cause so much damage.